Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Asus and the Republic of Gamers phone. The Republic of Gamers phone is a phone that costs more money than similar phones with similar chipsets, but it had certain features and functionality that many power users were willing to pay extra money for. And one of those was the ability to unlock the bootloader. When I was younger, the ability to install an operating system of your choice on your computer, the ability to remove the spyware from the computer that you paid $1,000 for, was something that was a given. It wasn't a feature. It wasn't something where you had to compare and contrast between different devices to ensure that yours was the one where you could install an operating system that didn't have spyware on it. But we're in 2024, which means you have to research and go, please, sir, may I remove the spyware from the computer that I purchased for three or two thousand dollars? Please let me remove the spyware from my phone. Thank you. And after you have pleaded with the company and paid extra for the ability to remove spyware from what you bought and paid for, they, they took it away from you. Last year, they took away the ability to unlock the bootloader. Even though it came with an application that allows you to unlock the bootloader, this application connects to Asus servers, and if you've been watching this channel for more than five minutes, you, I, I don't need to finish that sentence for you. So it's something that hasn't been working for over a year now. And when users started asking Asus, hey man, I bought this phone because it was advertised as a device that allowed me to unlock the bootloader. It's why I paid extra money for it over other phones, and you seem to not be allowing me to do that. What the fuck? They have been getting back to users with shit like this, where they're saying, you know what? I know you paid extra money for our phone because it allowed you to unlock the bootloader for free, but... If you want to unlock it now, you got to pay us again. <laughs> this is from XDA developers, and it's been confirmed by several people. Asus says they will unlock my bootloader for money, proving they didn't learn anything from the RMA fiasco, removing an advertised feature, unlocking the bootloader, lying to customers, unlock tool, coming back for over a year, denying warranty for unlock bootloader, even though it's illegal in the EU, and now asking for money to do it. In case you're unaware, Asus supposedly did a makeover of their RMA procedures after it got exposed by Gamers Nexus for practically scamming customers during repairs. As a response to that, Asus created the executive care process with the email executive care at asus.com to re-examine bad RMA experiences and make things right for consumers that got wronged. I thought to give it a try since my Zenfone 9 got bricked after an update a year ago and didn't turn on at all. Yet I got denied under a warranty and a paid repair. I offered to pay, but they still declined because my device has an unlocked bootloader. In the EU, it's illegal to die and I a warranty repair because of a software modification. I mentioned that to the executive care on June 15th, and they offered a one-time repair under warranty, but the bootloader would be relocked, and it's impossible to unlock again. I said it was an advertised feature, and they just can't move with the repair. After one month, they said I could simply pay for it. So they waited a month to get back to them, and when they did, they told them, well, if you want your bootloader unlocked, part of what they offered when they were releasing this phone, you gotta pay again gotta pay again. If you wish to unlock it again in the future, we will provide a paid unlock service. And then the estimated cost is $200. If you wish to proceed with unlocking bootloader, please notify us. We are currently in the process of establishing the related procedures. In the process of establishing the related procedures. Continuing onwards here, this has happened to many users. Thank you for your email. At the moment, we still haven't released an unlock tool. We can, however, offer the option to provide an unlock service. For this, you can apply for RMA on our website and we'll be charged 185, excluding VAT, to unlock it for you. You can apply the device for this service on the website below. After you have sent us the application form, within a few hours, you will receive an email from us with your RMA slash repair number. You will receive a second email with a link and login details regarding the collection. When you advertise a device, saying that you can unlock the bootloader to install an operating system of your choice when you're selling it, but the tool that allows you to do that needs to come with the device, the tool that allows you to do that needs to not connect to the manufacturer's server, and if you take that back, then in my opinion, then you should refund the customers that bought the product from you. Unlocking is not a service. The ability to install an operating system of your choice on your computer is not a service, nor is it something that should be taken away from you at a later point in time, particularly if it was advertised that way. I don't like Samsung. I think Samsung is a scummy company in many ways when it comes to how they sell their smartphones. At the end of the day, if they tell you the bootloader is locked, the bootloader is locked. They're selling it to you as a phone with a locked bootloader. Apple is selling you a phone with a locked bootloader. I don't like it, but at the very least, they are being honest. You had the option to not pay them based on knowing that upfront. Asus is not giving you that option. They're saying you have this option upfront, but then they take it away from you later. So they get the money from people that otherwise would not have given them money if they knew this. And then after they've gotten the money, fuck you, is what they tell their customers. And I think it's about time that their customers start telling Asus, fuck you, as well. There's an excellent video here with Steve at Gamers Nexus and Mr. Nathan Proctor at US Perg that uh, he's done a really, really good job, in my opinion, of just going over all of this stuff. Here we go. Mr. Nathan Proctor over here. The suit's already on the government's radar for warranty issues. And... He gives people a lot of advice 
on what it is you need to do if you want the FTC to actually try and crack down on this stuff, or at least pretend that they want to crack down on this stuff. And I highly suggest that you follow Nathan's advice from this video and also Steve at Gamers Nexus. They're good people. I've known Nathan Proctor for almost 10 years now. Good guy, does good work, have, and has been very helpful with right to repair advocacy. If you bought an Asus phone and they fucked you, I think it's about time that you fuck them. Think about it. Think about it. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.